me back to the conversation I was having with Ali because she was asking, what's the point? If they're, yeah. if they're trying to promote this, okay, instead of saying that they're like some satanic, they want us to all sin, sure. let's pretend that that's not definitely what's going on. Yeah. Let's just yeah. ignore all the signs yeah. that that's 100% what the mm -hmm. real thing is. What else can they do if they're looking at you during 2020 and they're saying, we were able to lock down all these people. We had almost mm -hmm. complete control over their lives. They got a really good understanding of what are the last couple of roadblocks they have left. Like it was almost kind of like a performance check yes. of like, what are the last vestiges of sovereignty mm -hmm. the individual has against the state? They figured out surprisingly that the family is really the last thing. Isn't Literally, it? It, There's something different about like when you have a person that lives in a one bedroom apartment mm -hmm. in New York city and is single and is alone by themselves, what you can influence them to do, how you can control and kind of fine tune yeah. aspects of their life that would be harder to do if people lived in groups communally. If you had people living communally, especially if they owned the land that they lived on, yeah. now suddenly as a institutional governing body because we have a constitution you now have certain like parameters yes not that they're gonna not still oh yeah they're um, gonna still make their way past but but the thing is is like they they don't that type of show of force is not conducive no. to running a, a society in the way they want they don't want to have to do that if they don't have to and if you give them these roadblocks it makes it harder for them mm -hmm. to just force their will onto you without them having to f actually physically take force it measures, yeah. take that exactly and then when they realize this during that same period, because these people are working around the clock, Not my, 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 yeah, the final like sort of conclusion in, in talking about that conversation I had with Allie was that is kind of how that all ties in is that the point of it is not that that's going to be the one thing. It's not that everybody's going to get on only right, no. it's, it, they, it's a it's death by a thousand cuts. This is long game stuff. Mm -hmm. This is generational warfare. Yeah. This is not about you or me or you know it's about like de like sort of kneecapping yeah certain like pockets of demographics certain pockets of population centers yeah. there's th there's aspects to this yes. that that this solves but it's just a piece of a larger network of other tactics yeah this is like step seven yeah exactly yeah. Exa exactly and and i think that's kind of the best way to look at it instead of you know being too dramatic about it and being like oh they want because even though they absolutely are from another dimension yes. trying to harvest our adrenochrome mm -hmm. even though that is true it's kind of you know not conducive to really understanding what's going on no. to see it that way initially you kind of have to remove that from the yeah. equation and just look at like what the like power tactics where it are. is yeah and that i think um was the point of only fans and it's perfect yeah. because look at the state we're in now i mean yeah it it's, works it's, it's literally like to to tie it back into your statement about the family being the last like form of sovereignty you would actually have it's like not necessarily for me and my personal everyday. That's that's out the window. That that's gone. Like yeah. OnlyFans, Fresh and Fit, all these influencers that kind of deal that, that are within that realm of of what they put out as far as content. All all fans, like all their viewers, like think about it. Like the men that go watch Fresh and Fit all the time. Yeah. How do how do the majority of these guys feel that are longtime fans? All women are hoes. Right. All right. girls just want my money. All right. of this and then. Look at the flip side. All the women that go on these shows or the women that get influenced by these people, these OnlyFans models, all these things. Mm -hmm. Now it's, I, and this is okay if this is what you feel as a woman. <coughs> I don't need no man. I'm independent. Right. I'm going to go do all these things on my own. And it's literally terrible because now it's just the straight clash of both sides that it would take for the family to come together, start, whatever it is. And... Really, what did they do?